Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create a pre-search node without any other equipment other than your own computer. No VPS, no monthly cost, just one computer with internet connection. We'll go over the specific requirements and the implications of running a node in your own PC. As always, a step-by-step -step easy guide so you can have your own node and start in those pre right away. Let's get into it. I love research and what the team is doing and I just love to own my own nodes and be part of this network. And you get paid. So why you want to use your own computer instead of renting a VPS? Well, it's a matter of cost, right? Everything changed since COVID and during the last year the cost of renting a VPS has gone up and it will probably continue in the future. So let me show you how to use your own computer and have your own self-hosted node today. Let's go over some key points to consider first. Okay, I'm here at docs.presearch.io slash nodes slash setup and we have here the node setup instructions. General assumptions. First, running a node is recommended on computers powered 24 seven due to uptime score statistics. You can watch my previous video about node statistics and uh, node rewards, go ahead and do that. Uh, you need to have your computer on all the time. So that's something to consider. iOS, your rewards are gonna get hurt. Two, installation or management of a node can be done on any operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, and other your choice, that's great, as long as you can access the underlying Docker application. Today we're gonna cover that, and I'm gonna explain you how to use that and how to install it. All right, good. There is no limit on the number of nodes one account could operate, that's great, you can have any number. There is no preferred setup, as the main goal of the project is to support decentralization. We're in the right place, awesome. Next, installation options. VPS or virtual private server. Uh, here's the number one. We already covered that in my previous video. Go ahead and watch it. Um, second, home computer. And today that's what we're gonna cover. So, running Windows or Mac operating system with Docker desktop application. And I'll show you in a minute what that means. Uh, what are the cons of running a node on your computer? Well, your computer needs to be 24-7. There's an electricity bill associated with it, so you need to know how much money your computer being 24-7 is going to is gonna use and utilize your network. So the node is you know, solving a request, so your network is going to be uh, utilized by, by, by research. What are the pros? It can be executed almost immediately, and I'll say, well, you say on the cost on a VPS on top of it, right? Uh, Preberry, that's uh, if you want to run it on a Raspberry Pi, that's not going to be covered today. And decentralized container solution, the, all these are going to be covered in another video. All right, for requirements, hardware, you need a computer with at least 4 gigs of RAM, 64-bit uh, processor, and supported Windows 10 or newer. And then we need virtualization support in BIOS, and I'll show you how to do that. For software, we need Docker, which is this software that creates virtualization at the OS level. It's gonna help you run applications on your computer. And then from the pre-search network, we need 4,000 pre-tokens. That number may change in the future, but your node will still be good with 4,000 regardless. All right, step number one, go to docker.com. Here you have Docker. Um, and go ahead and download Docker Desktop. If you have Apple with Apple chip, go click here. You have Linux here, and you have Apple with Intel chip, download it here. Before running Docker, we need to enable a couple of features, uh, depending on what OS you're running. If you have Windows Home, you gotta go to your search here and type Windows features on and off. It brings, it pops up this, this uh, window, and then in Windows Home, you're gonna check Virtual Machine, and Windows Subsystem for Linux. If you have Windows Pro, which is what I use, you need to have the Hyper-V enabled here. On top of that, we need the virtualization enabled at the BIOS. For that, you're gonna use the link above. You're gonna turn off your computer reboot and, and do this. So I'm gonna paste the, the link below. All right, so how do you know that virtualization must is, is being enabled? You just hit Control-Alt-Delete and you bring your task manager under task manager, uh, you see the second tab is called performance, hit performance, and then you see virtualization enable there. You, you'll see it right there. Uh, you see it here, virtualization enable. That's how you know. All right, step number two. We're gonna go back to the browser where we downloaded uh, de uh, Docker, and, and see here, that's the file already downloaded. You're gonna click there, 
showing folder and or you're gonna directly open it okay once you open it, you're gonna install it all right once you open docker you're gonna sign up for an account you're gonna create a username email password check semi occasional if you want agree and then check i'm not a robot all right step number three we're gonna install pre-search on our docker um, container go back to docs.presearch.io slash nodes let's set up and uh, you're gonna go down here and you'll see this uh, third step run the node start commands below to your terminal okay if you're in linux mac pre very windows powershell you're gonna use this windows command line you're gonna use this so uh, i'm gonna do it through windows powershell what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the entire code here copy control c and then on the search we're gonna type notepad it brings the notepad you're gonna con hit control v in victor and you're gonna paste the entire code there and here you see in capitals registration code equal dollar sign your registration code here and we're gonna replace that piece all right let's go to presearch.com go to your user id and hit notes here once you're not launch a node there you are register your node for registration code click here step number two and you should have your code your node registration code right there just click copy okay copy all right once the registration code is replaced you're gonna hit edit select all edit copy you're gonna copy the entire text then you're gonna go to your search command line there and you're gonna type power shell there it is windows power shell and i'm gonna run it as administrator so click on run as administrator accept yes and there you're gonna say control v s and victor and you're gonna paste the whole thing hit enter you got a error there but it's running and for one of them on container okay it's done it's installing full complete perfect so it's running there it is you should get this this pre-search low here means that it is the, the, the installation was successful and it keeps going um, it's connecting let's say and now it's listening for searches great all right and now you're gonna go back to your notes dashboard and you're gonna go here down the list and you're gonna sort by no description I already uh, have all my pre-search notes name pre-search underscore a number so when I sort it uh, I see this at the top, no description, so I know it is, it is the new one that we just created. It matches the creation time, which is right now. It says connected, which is running your computer. That's good. That's the latest version. No pre-assigned, so we're gonna stake 4,000 pre or more, and then the, the node should be good to go and start earning some pre. So go ahead and click stake, 4,000 or more. Description. I always type pre-search. Type whatever you want, but research score CO1 if it's your first one or whatever you want. You can name it however you want. Uh, and then you're gonna check here, send email on this connect, send me an email on reconnect if you want. I do that because I get notification when my notes go down. I wanna address as soon as possible so I don't get um, a lower score on my note. After you do that, you hit update and there you are. Your note should be uh, good to go. All right, so let it run a little bit, and then after a while you see that the reliability scores start increasing. Then you see how many attempts requests you got, how many successful requests you were able to process, and the rewardable requests. Uh, the higher the number in reliability call, the, the better uh, chances to get more pre. And then you're gonna start seeing how much that nodes accumulating pre. All the pre for all your nodes get accumulated here in the unclaimed pre-earn. And from time to time you can do claim, Claim now, and they become available to stake. You have, you know, or you can, uh, you can sell them, uh, transfer them, or, or or use it as for the next uh, node. And there you have it: your first pre-search node running in your own computer without the need of paying for a monthly VPS service, and you are earning pre tokens right away. Uh, let me know in the comment sections below if you run into any trouble. I will try to help you out. I hope you guys like this video and hit the like button. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.